Hey, it's Elena here, and I'm now on day six of my cleanse, which is really exciting because it means that I'm at the halfway point. One thing that's definitely helped to keep me organized is having all of my groceries ready in advance because that way I've got all of my meals, my snacks, and my drinks covered when I'm leaving the house in the morning and I don't have to worry about having any hunger pains throughout the day. Another tip of mine is to buy bulk whenever you can, especially when you're buying organic because it definitely helps save money in your grocery bill. Uh, soaking things like chickpeas and beans is a lot cheaper than it is to buy them in cans. One thing that I've been eating a lot of on the detox in the last few days is buckwheat and this is actually a grain that you can have as much as you want and I've been flavoring it with coconut which is actually one of my absolute favorite foods but I wasn't really sure if you're allowed to eat it on the detox so I actually phoned up the Wild Rose Holistic Clinic and College in Calgary and confirmed with them that it definitely is okay to eat. Having said that, I've actually found out that it is an acidic food so that means that if you are planning on incorporating it into your detox, don't go coconut crazy. Just make sure that you stay within your 20% range for your daily intake of acidic foods. One thing that I've really been craving a lot of lately is Mexican food. And luckily, the Wild Rose recipe book right here has a fantastic corn loaf recipe and I've been able to make some guacamole and some salsa as well which has been absolutely delicious and uh, another thing that I'd like to talk about food wise is almonds they are a very alkaline food and very highly encouraged on the detox however they are also a very fatty food so they take a much longer time to digest than things like vegetables and fruits so basically when you are eating your almonds on the detox or at any time uh, make sure that you time it properly so it doesn't cause fermentation of other foods in your stomach because they're all digesting at different rates. Uh, what I do actually with my almonds is eat them in between meals as a filler uh, and that way I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Now, how do I feel? On day six, I would have to say I am a lot more energetic than I was on day two and uh, I don't have as much of a fluctuation in energy. It's actually been a very, very nice, steady pace. And another thing that I've noticed, which is kind of odd, is my sensitivity to smell and taste. I think a lot of that has to do with the standard American diet having so many uh, overly fatty, over-sugared, over-salty foods in it that we get so used to having them and our taste buds actually adjust and become immune to it. So when you take a lot of that stuff out of your diet and clean it up with something like a detox, you start to realize how much of that over-flavoredness is in our food in the first place. Another thing that I've noticed is uh, less hunger pains and also less cravings for food, which is fantastic because I have to deal with those all the time, so not uh, having them to bother me is definitely a big bonus. And before I leave, I would like to emphasize the awesomeness of tea when you are on the cleanse and in general as well, because one thing that it does is helps to ease digestion after a meal. Another thing is it also substitutes a dessert at the end of a meal because it has that nice sweet taste and kind of prevents you from overeating as well because it fills you up with a little bit more liquid. And uh, when you are in between meals and you're slightly hungry, it, uh, it's very warm and it's soothing and definitely helps tie you over until your next big meal. So that's all I've got for tonight. Hopefully you tune in to my next blog and uh, I'm going to put some more recipes online for you to check out. Hopefully you have a good night and happy detoxing.